The rumors that Sarah Michelle Gellar would play Helen Shivers again in the upcoming I Know What You Did Last Summer revival have not gone unnoticed by her fans. The actress announced as the movie's production got closer that she would not be starring in the slasher thriller, even though her husband Freddie Prinze Jr. is in the primary cast. I am dead, Gellar declared forcefully, referring to her character's demise in the now-famous horror movie from 1997. Even though Gellar won't be acting in the reboot, she believes that she will be involved in some capacity behind the scenes because her best friend Jennifer Caden Robinson is writing and directing it, and her husband is playing Ray Bronson again. It's directed by my best friend Jennifer Caden Robinson, so we joke that I kind of have an unofficial job, like I'm continuity, she said. Well, that would happen, or that wouldn't happen with those characters, is something I tell her all the time, so I suppose I could call myself an informal job title. The 1973 novel of the same name by Lois Duncan served as the inspiration for the original film, which followed four adolescent friends who, a year after covering up a car accident in which they allegedly killed a man, are hounded by a killer with a hook. In addition to Geller and Prinz Jr., the ensemble included leading performances by Jennifer Love Hewitt and Ryan Phillip, Johnny Galecki, Bridget Wilson, and the late Inhechi, who tragically died in August 2022 at the age of 53. I Know What You Did Last Summer, directed by Jim Gillespie from a screenplay by Kevin Williamson, went on to become a successful film with audiences, making $125.3 million worldwide at the box office on a $17 million budget. In an attempt to capitalize on the first movie's success, Hewitt, Prince Jr., and Watson returned for the November 1998 release of the sequel, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, 1998. Newcomers included Brandy, Mackay Pfeiffer, Bill Cobbs, Jennifer Esposito, Matthew Settle, John Hawks, Jeffrey Combs, and Benjamin Brown joined the three in the cast of the follow-up. Trey Calloway wrote the screenplay and Danny Cannon directed the film. However, the sequel ultimately failed at the box office, making only $40 million after incurring production costs ranging from $25 to $65 million. When the third entry in the series, I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer, 2006 was released over 10 years later, it was a solo sequel and lacked star power because none of the actors from the first two films were in it. Leading woman Hewitt, 45, is reported to be playing Julie James again alongside Prince Jr., 48, since they both starred in the first two movies in the 1990s. The legacy sequel was initially revealed in February 2023 and will have both characters from the previous movie along with new characters that are younger. Madeline Klein, Chase Sway Wonders, Jonah Horking, Sarah Piggio, and Tyreek Withers complete the new cast, according to the source. Originally chosen for the movie, Camila Mendez left because to schedule issues. Regarding the relaunch, Geller told People, Jens put together such an amazing cast, and I'm so happy and excited for all of them. I'll be behind the camera, providing moral support. Even though Geller isn't in the new reboot, she reiterates that she's there to offer any assistance she can to the production. Well, my best friend wrote and directed the film, and my husband is in it, so I think there's a pretty good chance I will go to that premiere, she continued. In reality, Jella and Prinz Jr. got together on the set of the first movie, and they dated each other until September 2022. They welcomed daughter Charlotte, 14, and son Rocky, 11, into their marriage over the course of those 22 years. The U.S. premiere of the I Know What You Did Last Summer revival is set for July 18, 2025.